I'm Abigail Baker. And I'm Sophia Battaglia. Welcome to the fall edition of the Woodbury Middle School Minute. In this edition, we'll be taking a look at Woodbury School's history. Did you know that Woodbury will be observing its centennial anniversary in 2025? Woodbury High School was built in 1925 and named in honor of Salem, New Hampshire resident Levi Woodbury. As a child, Woodbury attended Salem's Old Stone Schoolhouse. In later years, Woodbury had great success in the local timber business and then relocated to Washington, D.C. to be the proprietor of the St. James Hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue. Woodbury eventually became president of the Norfolk and Washington Steamboat Company. He donated $50,000 to benefit the construction of Woodbury High School and attended its dedication. After Salem High School opened, the Woodbury served as junior high school and finally middle school it is today. Mariah spoke with Principal Brad St. Laurent on the rich history of the building. Mr. St. Laurent collects and displays Woodbury history memorabilia and maintains a display case that includes yearbooks, trophies, and photos. He also likes to show students some of the areas that show the original design traits of the building. So I have a, a personal interest in Woodbury School along with my family uh, attending here throughout our history. Um, when I first came aboard as assistant principal, Bob Shute took me on a tour of Woodbury School. Uh, Mr. Shute was a well-known teacher and assistant principal at Woodbury School for a number of years and he showed me a number of the secrets uh, of the building, particularly the 1925 section. And I want to share a few of those with you today. So the 1925 building has a lot of interesting history when you peek around. For example, we are in what would have been the original front entrance of the building, which is now used for a special education uh, office. And if you look to my right, the original building plaque is here uh, in what is Sue Mather's office, showing that the construction was 1924 to 1925. So here we are in the 1925 section overlooking uh, Main Street as it has it's been for nearly 100 years. Uh, during the renovation, this is expected to be renovated into student service areas. During the renovation, this should be renovated into student service areas. We'll be preserving the historic front. The interior in this particular section should be recognizable. Some of our hidden features, though, will be updated. If you take a look at a closet like this, you can see the 1925 construction, including what's left of the original hardwood oh. floors. There's a lot of oh. secrets in the old building, and some of that history will certainly be preserving. All right, we're going to head down into the original basement and heating system of Woodbury School from 1925. How would I like reset it? Here we are in the uh, original basement and storage area. Right behind us is the coal furnace with some coal debris that once heated the Woodbury School back in the 1920s. And as people have heard, excuse me, we're going to just take a peek up here. Move this. Although the sign has been removed, uh, many people remember this as the fallout shelter for the town in the event of uh, an atomic war, I suppose, back in the 50s or 60s. Today, it's better known as the tunnel to the high school. If you were to go forward, you would see that the tunnel uh, extends well past your line of sight. Even with all of the improvements and additions over the years, Woodbury is still a 96-year-old building at its core. And if you look close enough, you can see the evidence of that. I'm in the studio. I'm Mariah Muskovich from Woodbury Middle School Minute. Did you know that the last class to graduate from Woodbury High School was in 1965? The new Salem High School's construction would be completed shortly after that. Jack Rouse was a member of the last class to graduate and recalled a debate over dress code requirements. Uh, Principal Johnson, POJ at the time, who was later superintendent, was trying to uh, get a dress code passed for uh, Woodbury students. And there was a public meeting, a referendum on that topic. And I chose to uh, speak against the dress code while the principal of the school was up there trying to 
get one passed. And uh, as it turned out, the, uh, the dress code didn't pass. And it wasn't anything I said, my oratorical skills. I think it was the people, I, as, as I recall looking out at the audience, uh, they were, you know, some of them had, were farmers. It was very rural then. And I don't think uh, they were interested in investing in, it would, you know, suits and ties or shirts and ties for Sundays and dresses. That was about it. Woodbury is a special place for Mr. Bros for another reason. He met his future wife on his first day at Woodbury High. One asked about other memories that stood out. He recalled the debate and petition on what the new high school should be named. Evie Evans, who was kind of an activist, catalyst, uh, she did have a petition in 1965, as we left, to keep the name of the school, Woodbury High School. Okay, and everybody signed it, but I, you know, the name obviously got changed. So if the school board changed its decision, we could have been graduating from Woodbury High School as well. We hope you enjoyed the fall edition of the Woodbury Middle School Minute. Special thanks to Mr. St. Laurent, Mr. Brouse, and Mr. Whitaker, along with the staff at Salem School Direct District Media Services and Salem Community Television. The Woodbury Middle School Minute is part of the Woodbury Power Enrichment Program that is designed to encourage all Woodbury students to be safe, involved, and productive. After the 210 school bell rings, I'm Sophia Battaglia. And I'm Abigail Baker. See you next time.